Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and this year's Wimbledon will be played with no points attached to the results. So no ranking points for the ATP or WTA at Wimbledon this year. It's only for Wimbledon, and it's of course in response to the Russian and Belarusian players not being able to play Wimbledon this year, and Wimbledon banning those players. Let's go over and read the statements by both the ATP and Wimbledon to see what's happened. This is what the ATP Tour came out with in their statement. The ability for players of any nationality to enter tournaments based on merit and without discrimination is fundamental to our tour. The decision by Wimbledon to ban Russian and Belarusian players from competing in the UK this summer undermines this principle and the integrity of the ATP ranking system. It is also inconsistent with our rankings agreement. Absent a change in circumstances, it is with great regret and reluctance that we see no option but to remove ATP ranking points from Wimbledon for 2022. Wimbledon also came out with a response statement saying, on behalf of the All England Club, we write in response to the decisions taken by the ATP, WTA, and ITF board to remove ranking points for the championships 2022. We appreciate that opinions differ in relation to our decision to decline entries from Russian and Belarusian players to the championships this year, and we deeply regret the impact this decision on individuals affected. However, given the position taken by the UK government to limit Russia's global influence, which removed automatic entry by ranking, we remain of the view that we have made the only viable decision for Wimbledon and we stand by it. So there you have it. The ATP coming out with their statement, Wimbledon in response. And of course, the WTA is siding with the ATP. So they won't be offering ranking points either. And the three parties that are involved here are the ATP, WTA, ITF. And they're the ones who control tennis. The ITF control what happens at the slams, the ATP with the men's tour and the WTA, the women's tour. And Wimbledon is sort of just a tournament within that big structure. So they don't really have any power when it comes to rankings and ranking points. But what do you think down in the comments below? Do you think that players are not going to play Wimbledon now that there are no ranking points and it's kind of an exhibition event is what a lot of players are calling it now. Of course, there's a lot of prize money still up for grabs. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think this is the right decision made by the ATP and WTA?